Is your motorcycle like mine and it's a little bit too loud for your liking? Well today guys, we're gonna travel back in time and I'm gonna show you how to build your own custom baffle for your motorcycle's exhaust system. What do you mean back in time? Wait, 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 what? Excellent. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Mike Barker. Thank you so much for joining me again. And yeah, today we're gonna quiet down this really loud exhaust. Here's the deal though. I filmed these segments a little while back. It's gotten a lot warmer since then. So we're gonna jump back in time in a second. But, but, stick around because at the end of the video, I've got a new project to show you. Let's do this. Here's the deal. I wanna quiet down this pipe quite a bit because it is obnoxiously loud. I already kind of been playing around with this, but I bought a drag specialties two and a half inch diameter silencer insert. I think this is for like big cruisers, like to fit in their big ass muffler tip. This is the perfect diameter for my pipe. However, the length way too long. So what I'm gonna do, pop the fiberglass roll off and I'm gonna cut a section out of this. I'm gonna try and retain the caps front and back just because it'll reduce, you know, things flexing around in there. By keeping these two flanges, I'll be able to retain and keep this packing located in there. Like I wouldn't want the packing to come apart and I don't think it would ever run any risk of getting into the engine. It would have to have a whole lot of pressure go in the wrong direction. This is brand new. I have not used this. It's just, I've been kind of mocking it up, playing around with it. I think that still sounds pretty darn nice. I got out my mini grinder because I had to modify part of the flange as there was a small dent where someone had previously uh, probably laid their bike down. Then I used my mini grinder and I cut four inches out of the center of the perforated section. I made these blue marks with a permanent marker so that I had a rough idea of the alignment as it needed to be to go back into the exhaust pipe. Change of scenery, I headed up to my dad's place to strike up the welder. here at my dad's place, doing a little welding on this. Chop that down, remove four inches from the center. I think that's gonna work beautifully. So I've gotta share this with you just quick. You gotta check out my dad's welding cart. Yep, it's a shopping cart. All right, back home now. Beautiful day outside again. I'm gonna, uh, gonna lay a little high temp paint on this silencer before I put it in the pipe. All right, so I have this pretty much laid out. Wow, what a mess. So here's what we have. The metal portion of the baffle is cut down to size now. I've put a bit of paint on it, but just with handling and stuff, this high temp paint really doesn't stick until it gets a little bit of heat into it. But right now I'm gonna cut my fiberglass packing to size so that it fits up with the new insert. I'm gonna cut it a little long though, because I can always cut a little extra off. Fiberglass packing comes apart after you've handled it a little too much, so. I'm gonna jam this in there and see how it fits. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll go ahead and touch that up with a little bit of paint, but this is really exactly what I was after. Awesome. That is gonna do it. Oh no, cross thread is good. I didn't have the silencer in quite far enough, so I used my uh, calibrated knockometer, also known as a hammer, just to give it a light tap so that it was in just that little bit further that it needed to be. I then sprayed on a little more high temp paint just because, like I mentioned earlier, handling had kind of scuffed it up a little bit. Well guys, here's what it sounds like with the new baffle installed. Well, there you have it. Huh, I don't think that sounds too bad at all. I have to see what it's like out on the road, but uh, wow, what a difference compared to just that wide open pipe. Whoever out there has those uh, wide open hater pipes going on, you are stronger people than I am. Man, I'm super jazzed with how this bike sounds now. Oh. Well, all right, guys, there you go. Thanks for tuning in again. Listen, if you haven't already. Hey, whoa, hold up there. I promise you a sneak peek of the next project. So here's your sneak peek. Yep, it's another 750. I'm gonna get into the specifics and the weirdness of this one in a future bid. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button, smash the like, and be sure, be sure to turn on those notifications so you catch every one of the episodes in this series on the build of the CB750K. Thank you so much again for tuning in and be sure to check in next time because we're gonna start working away at probably this headlight. That's next time, guys. Thanks a bunch, see you later.